Hi guys, welcome back to another fragrance video on my channel and thanks so much for tuning in again. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about five more fragrances that are ultra cheap and ultra good. And I will start with uh, one fragrance that has been really, really, really popular and been there for a long time. And this is Versace's The Dreamer. So I got the, I believe, what kind of milliliter version? The 50 ml version of this for around, I believe, under 25 bucks. I don't know if it was discounted, but you should be able to get this at a discount um, like re on a regular basis. It's been around for a long, long time and it's just the most beautiful, clean and also interesting fragrance that I've ever smelled, at least for this price point. So this one is clean, sophisticated, it has a creamy note, a very, very nice creamy note, some really nice soapy notes, and it's also a little bit spicy. I believe there is cardamom in it or pink pepper or something like this, which makes the top note really shine and really awesome and crisp. And this one, I can imagine, will also get a ton of compliments. I've heard many good things about this fragrance and I was really excited to try it. So this is Vers Versace's The Dreamer, probably the first the perfect office fragrance for under 25 bucks if you want to get the 50 ml. If you want to get more, like 100 ml, uh, that's also possible with a little bit of a price difference, but a perfect cheapy fragrance for everyday use, uh, at least for the office. So the next one goes in a very summery direction and this one is called, let me check with the cap, let me show you with the cap. This one is called Sun Man by Jill Sander, which is a German fragrance brand, I believe. And this is supposed to be the most nostalgic citrus fragrance that you will be able to get. A lot of people have told me about this, that it gives them good memories about their past because they know it from when they were young. And it's also, yeah, it's a typical designer type fragrance, I would say. I mean, if you know the likes of Boss Bottled, then you will not discover anything new with this one. Although it's a very good, um, a very good cheap fragrance and I think you can use a lot of it and it's going to give you a nice, 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 um, nice summery feel, I would say. Not above 25 degrees Celsius though, because uh, this one is quite sweet. I think it has orange blossom in it and some kind of musky notes and sweet base. So it could develop very, very sweet on your skin at high temperatures, but it's nice for everything in between. And I think it's very, very, very tasty. So the next one that I'm going to review in a couple of weeks, I believe, is going to be Sun Women, which is, so, which is supposed to be even better than this. And I'm really excited to try that one as well. Now we are getting a little bit into the kind of vintage type fragrances where they're not all vintage, at least the next one isn't, I believe, but they have this kind of vintage type DNA at least. And this one is called, so the first one is called Armaf Niche Black Onyx. And it is produced in France, which is awesome. And I think it's not expensive. I will try to look up the price for you guys. And this one reminds me of a very popular men's fragrance. I don't know which one it is uh, because I, I kind of have a bad scent memory when it comes to this. Now I've sprayed my finger, nice. That sucks, definitely. Uh, yeah, I will, I will check this later. But this one has a really awesome barbershop type DNA, really classic men's barbershop fragrance, very resinous, very spicy, very green and it's just very, very, very nice. I mean, this is really cheap, guys, and it performs and smells like a niche fragrance to me. So, it, I mean, it even says Armaf Niche. <laughs> you wouldn't guess uh, by the price, but it's really awesome. So, really awesome scent DNA, classic barbershop type fragrance. And if you like uh, the likes of Diaghilev by Roja Parfums, or maybe like also Danger Parfum Cologne by Roja, this is like the same category of fragrance and it's really a steal for the price. So if you like this type of vintage Chypris and stuff, then you should definitely check this out because it's just a very nice green, also fresh and musky and resinous type fragrance. Really, really, really awesome. So the next one is a fragrance my dad used to wear for a little bit of time and it's called Lagerfeld Classic. So I didn't really have too many good memories of this one because I remember, you know, my, my dad is a little bit older than usual. So I'm 30, he's above 80, so 82, I believe. So I remembered this as being a very old type of fragrance to my nose, 
But that was when I hadn't discovered my love for Chypre and Fougère fragrances yet. So, as you can imagine, upon trying this again, I totally fell in love with it, you know? So it's a nice Fougère type fragrance again. So really nice lavender, sweet notes, but also very green and spicy, has a significant amount of musk in there. So really, really high in musks, but it's just so nice. It's just so nice and spicy and warming and also has this lavender which cools it down a little bit. So really awesome concoction of notes. And this one for the 100 milliliters, I paid under $25, which was also really nice. So if you get to try this, I don't know about the States, if they have it there or not, um, you should definitely do so if you like vintage type fragrances. It has some kind of civet in there, I believe. So it's really animalic. You should, you should be careful. Uh, if you don't like that but apart from that it's it's also really nice and the last one i want to talk to you about is ted lapidus porom this one was the cheapest i believe so it's an eau de toilette by ted lapidus paris and it's made in france as well so very nice and i mean the bottle is really ugly so i don't like the bottle the lower part is uh, glass and the upper part is plastic so it doesn't really give me too much by the way in terms of bottle design Versace is the best so far. And also, yeah, I mean, Amaf also, the sprayer is a little bit like damaged. Um, but apart from that, it's really nice. This one, by the way, also has a plastic cap. I don't like that because I think this might break off really easily. They could have made it metal, but who cares? At this price point, I don't. So Lapidus Perum um, has been, oh, this one has a really nice sprayer. Look at this. It's really nice, really good sprayer quality. This one is probably the one I like most because it has this vintage type of DNA. It's really fresh. So it has a very vintage type DNA, but also smells timeless and modern at the same time. So I can't imagine wearing this and being called like, well, you have some kind of grandpa perfume on. So unlike Armaf, which uh, has this type of vibe uh, to my, in my opinion, also Lager, look at this. Yeah, that's why I was talking about about the cap. Well, Lagerfeld as well could have some kind of daddy vibe, but this one is really, really timeless and, and classic, but still very well made. And I don't really know the notes, so I didn't look up the notes, but it also has some kind of fresh, it's a very fresh fragrance, fresh musky again. And also, yeah, classic masculine fragrance. So I would also recommend this to you guys. If you are, I think above 25 years old, you can try this definitely and I don't think it will look old on you. It will look um, timeless and, and awesome. So it has 82% volume. Um, so it has 18% fragrance oils, which is quite strong for an eau de toilette. But uh, yeah, performance also very good on this one. I tried it, tried it as well and it's really nice. So these are five fragrances for under 25 bucks that you will be able to get um, at your local perfumery or maybe a uh, like big store, wherever you get your fragrances, they should have it. And they are all really nice. The ones I like most are probably these two. And then we have Lagerfeld and then Armaf and then the Gilles Sun classic uh, that you all probably know. So if you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Tell me about your cheap fragrance recommendations, fragrances that you like that are not expensive in the comment section down below. I'm super excited to hear about that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and bye bye.